And let's uh, speak now to here in the studio to Dr. Vili Abraham, Y24 News tech contributor. And Vili, let's put some background here. Why the background is happening against and why Huawei specifically? Okay, so first of all, Huawei is perceived as a company that might threaten the security of the United States because it might use the infrastructure, the telecommunication infrastructure, to spy on the U.S. So that's one concern. Another trigger is probably the fact that there's really no progress in the trade talks between uh, China and the United States. So I think these are the two major uh, contributors. Vili, the issue here is that this is not just about the United States and China or one company alone. The, exactly. At this point, these kind of companies have a very sort of complicated, connected web of suppliers, of possible impact. Take us through some of the impact you think this decision is going to have. Okay, it can have a lot of a lot of impact. So first of all, it could definitely dis disrupt uh, the business of Huawei. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing that it can bring it out of business, it can go bankrupt because of this. Now, um, Huawei has purchased about eleven billion dollars worth of components from U.S. companies, which are also likely to suffer. Now, because it will not be able to get supplies as it used to source them from the United States, it means that its other customers who, you know, they buy products that include these components will also suffer. So in a, in, in a final analysis, it might just go bankrupt. And by the way, it's one of the leading smartphone companies in the world. Right, I think number just two. behind, um, it's number either number two, two or three. It has 19% of the market share. And in comparison to Apple and Samsung, which are so this word, we're talking about something that would impact on consumers, not just on the definitely. Companies. It means that consumers around the world and even here in Israel, we have Huawei phones, which are relatively cheaper, and their performance is not that bad at all. May not be able to purchase newer models in the future. And uh, uh, how soon, if this ban went into effect, you're talking about bankruptcy, but that's a more, say, a long-term thing. Certainly the government, the Chinese government, would prop it up to a certain point. But how soon likely would Huawei feel the, any kind of consequences from this kind of ban? Okay, well, it did take into consideration that this might happen. Uh, and that's why they have inventories of 12 to 24 months. So it means that after, if the ban goes into effect, it will be able to survive somewhere between a year uh, in two years, between one year and right. two years. That's an important note because the impact is not always immediate, although the conversations aren't right. certainly uh, tr President Trump's Twitter account usually is, but it can take, as you mentioned, even a year yeah. to really see and, some uh, impact. And interesting, earlier, uh, 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 President Trump had actually tried to introduce measures to help Huawei and China because yeah. of concerns over employment there, and what a turnaround now with the collapse of those trade talks. Yes, it's, it's, it's a considerable turnaround, and one of the concerns is that uh, the U.S. allies may also go and follow the steps of the United States and just ban Huawei because of concerns that, you know, there might be some, you know, disagreement with the United and yet, States. Yeah, you know, we saw in, in, in the UK the Prime Minister Theresa May approving Huawei to help build the 5G network in the UK despite the objection, apparently, of security officials. Exactly. Yeah, I have to say this, you know, in urban cities in the United States, uh, rural uh, cities in the United States, um, 5G is a major, major concern. If you look at the future, autonomous vehicles and all the technology that we're talking about today in the media has to be based on 5G. So it means that companies and consumers in the United States will be affected as far as, you know, connection or internet connection you know, slow is concerned. Slow down that process. Definitely, sure. definitely uh, slow down the process. Major long-term impact. And let's not forget that this could certainly open up uh, major U.S. companies like Apple to retaliation. 100%. From, from we've China seen, we've seen the Chinese retaliate yeah. in turn to these kind of moves from the Trump administration. All right, Dr. Vili Abraham, thanks very much for being with us.